Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes receives her sentence after being found guilty on four fraud-related charges. On November 18th, the 38-year-old was sentenced to 11 years and three months in prison, along with three years of supervised release per NBC News. During the trial, prosecutors accused Holmes of defrauding investors, doctors, and patients with her business, which purported to have developed a blood testing method that gets rapid and accurate results by merely using a small amount of sample gathered through a finger prick. On January 3rd, a California jury found Holmes guilty of one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and three counts of wire fraud. However, jurors determined that she was not guilty of a second count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud and reached no verdict on three more counts of wire fraud. She was additionally found not guilty on the final three counts in the case. A Stanford University dropout, Holmes became somewhat of a tech visionary in Silicon Valley after founding Theranos in 2003. The company was backed by high-profile investors, and Holmes was thrust into the spotlight. In 2015, she spoke at Glamour Magazine's 25th Annual Women of the Year Awards. I want to just take a minute to say, especially to the young women in the room here, do everything you can to be the best in science and math and engineering. Actress Amanda Seyfried went on to play Holmes in Hulu's miniseries The Dropout. I don't think that this is going to work out. What do you mean? What's, what's not going to work out? The partnership. What? I think that Walgreens is a little old fashioned in culture, which I absolutely respect, but we need synergy and I'm not feeling a synergy here. Her performance eventually won her an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. Holmes must surrender to authorities on April 27th. E! News reached out to Holmes' attorney for comment on her sentencing, but has not heard back.